What's up gang? Welcome back to the channel. I got another ride and review for you today. I'm heading over to Le Industry Pizza, the one that just opened up in the West Village. I'm meeting the cake dealer there. We're going to get some pizza, hopefully not too big of a line. Maybe get a beer or two at uh, Talia right next door, the uh, brewery. It's real windy today, given the... Uh, the GoPros here, a real test on the wind blocking abilities of their built-in software and the media mod. So we'll see. Oh, it's moving the bike. This is a heavy bike too and it's moving the bike this wind. So there's a few big heavy hitter pizza joints in the city that I still have not tried yet. One being um, La Industry where we're going today. And the other being Lucali in Brooklyn, I've heard it's just, you know, a pain to get a table, pain to wait, and long waits, long lines. I'm not into that stuff when it comes to pizza. My view and my belief is that if you live in New York, especially if you live in the five boroughs of New York City, you should be able to get an excellent slice of pizza without having to wait within walking distance to your apartment or within a three minute drive if you're outside of the city. A little bit of craziness over here, a little bit of hectic. There's a firehouse right there. Actually, that firehouse was the one that helped Patrick with a deadly flat. Uh, I went over there with my tools and forgot to bring the correct size deep socket. So I was useless. We pulled up into a uh, firehouse and they were, they had everything. They had all the tools and they were very happy to help. It was great. So just a word of um, advice, pro tip. If you ever get screwed out uh, with some sort of flat and you need tools, you don't have tools with you, hit the nearest firehouse and you might have some luck. So as I was saying, the industry here is in the West Village. I am right now on Bedford Street. Bedford terminates at uh, Christopher Street. And the place is right on Christopher Street. I'm gonna have to go take a right and go against the grain of traffic for like half a block. But it beats going around in a big giant circle. The so cake dealer is probably gonna be there already. So I'm gonna roll up. Hopefully there's not a huge line. I was saying like, you know, sometimes these places can get mega lines and you end up waiting for hours. But there is a brewery right nearby. So if we end up having to wait, we'll just dip in there, get a drink. All right, here's Christopher Street. I'm taking this right. Ooh, sun. Yeah, a little bit hectic over here with the sun. Okay, there it is. Uh, not too crazy of a line. No line, actually. Oh, a little bit of a line, a little bit of a line. All right. I'll see you guys on the inside.
Tastes like a margarita. Wow, that was great. That was a really great pizza. We tried uh, four different slices. We did a white pie. We did... Um, the white pie was like basically mozzarella, ricotta, and a little bit of uh, burrata blobs. And uh, yeah, that was really nice. It had a good uh, crispy texture to it because without sauce, there's a lot less... Uh, ability for it to be a flop, like floppy pizza. Um, but that's not the case here with any of their pies. I picked the wrong street to turn on. We did a pepperoni slice. That was probably um, my favorite. Uh, not too salty. I thought it was going to be very salty, but it was great. The, ch the crust has a nice little char on it, like a grayish black char. Let me go around this bus. This is going to be annoying the whole way if I don't. Okay. Uh, pepperoni slice. We also did their special Le Industry slice, which is basically fig jam, uh, aged balsamic, um, arugula burrata. It's a very nice slice, but it, it can get heavy. Like there's a lot of stuff on it. So like for me, my wife loved that. But for me, I, I would, I pass on stuff like that. I like it, I'm a little bit more traditional. I like a regular slice, which we didn't get. I got to get it next time. Good old classic slice. Unbelievable. Uh, and then, let's see, the fourth slice was a, um, similar to the pepperoni, it had pepperoni, crumbled sausage, and burrata on it. That was very good. That was a close contender for favorite. Second place, probably. So a few other places I gotta try. This is definitely in my top three. The other ones being probably Ratsa. Um, in Jersey City, Totono's uh, in Coney Island, which I think, from what I understand, is back open now for takeout. Um, and then, you know, I also really love Grand Street Pizza by me. It's very similar to the industry, it's just a little bit. Um, I mean, I got to see how consistent it is with. You know, if I try the industry more than a couple of times, maybe I'll get a sense for which one is more consistently good, but they're both very similar. So they're on par. I would definitely say they're on par. Um, the cake dealer likes the industry a little bit better on first taste, but we'll see. I take this right here back on bleaker 
I'm doing like some circles here. Not very productive of me. Just meandering and blabbering. But I guess that's about it anyway. Kind of reach the end of my review. So I might as well wrap this up. As always, jump out to the website johnnyprimesteaks.com for the full review, the full write-up, all the details. And make sure you like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, and tell your fucking grandma.